Rescue operations have resumed today in the search for survivors of a ferry that capsized and sank between the East African coast and the Zanzibar shoreline, which killed at least 31 people of the 250 people who were believed to be on board. Please be warned, this footage does contain some graphic images. Police move quickly through the heavy crowds with the bodies wrapped in the shrouds of men, women and children. Police have confirmed that 31 children were aboard the ferry and a number of them were found amongst the dead. Following the disaster, the Zanzibar president, Dr Ali Mohamed Shane, speaking at a news conference, declared three days of mourning. Speaking in Kiswahili, he said, Based on what happened, the government of Zanzibar declares three days of mourning starting on July the 19th. During that period, all celebrations are meant to stop and all the flags must be flown at half-mast. This is not the time to start blaming one another or spreading rumours. We need to come together and help each other during this period of tragedy and death. Let's all agree that what happened was God's will and it's a trial to us. Our God tells us as humans we shall face trial and tribulations in life. The police commissioner confirmed that 145 people have been rescued today. It has been reported also that a foreigner was among those killed, but it is not clear how many others there were or the final number of passengers who had actually been on board the vessel. I am Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.